the hallways are dark, the lockers have all been cleaned out, and the building is quiet. Too quiet. But there is some activity at Holcomb High School. Let's go check it out. Good morning, ladies. How many sack lunches today? 500? So that's 500 lunches and 500 breakfasts, right? Yeah. Woohoo! Are you getting your routine down pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> All of these sacks need to be put in boxes and then loaded onto the buses to be distributed all over town. What has been the most challenging part of getting all these meals ready to go? Uh, the most challenging part is actually getting our food in from our trucks. We are being shorted almost every week that we have freight, and so we have to then run to the store and try to grab food from there. And as everybody knows, there's not there's very much no at the stores. stores. <laughs> well, you girls are doing fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Keeping the cold food cold and the hot food hot. And then it's time to load the buses. What is it like when you drop the meals off? What do the kids do? Um, well, they're, they're happy to get all of them and they, they stay in order. And... It, are they excited to see yeah. their friends at the same time well, that, from down the street? or They're not really congregating. They're getting their, they're getting their lunches and, and then they're and going back on. home. Yep. Well, that's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. At the high school, everybody pitches in to get our students their lunches. <laughs> One. Hey, you gotta yell a little louder, we're deaf. Thanks, appreciate it, forget about it. And that's what happens in Holcomb High School every day until we get back to what we can call normal. Our kids get fed and we do what we can.